the two same color wire from the O2 sensor are the heater plus and minus, respectively. The O2 sensor heater is always controlled by the ECM. But the control circuit will vary depending on the manufacturer. There are three ways for the ECM to control the O2 sensor circuit. One is by using a power relay controlled by the ECM and a steady ground. By the ECM controlling the power or 12 volt side of the heater and a steady ground. And by the ECM controlling the ground to the heater and a steady power at the other side of the heater circuit. Newer systems are doing away with relays and the ECM does all the switching using internal drivers. It is also important to know that on early OVD2 systems, using relays, the ACM could not detect heater open circuits because all it saw was the relay circuit. The ECM detects open and short circuits by reading the feedback wire at the heater control side. So if the O2 heater is connected to steady power or 12 volts, the ACM expects to see battery voltage. If connected to ground, it expects to see a ground. The feedback voltage or ground is supposed to go through the heater coil circuit itself and show up at the other side of the circuit. To test, find out which control circuit you have, either power or ground controlled. If ground controlled, you should have a steady power at one of the two wires. If not, look for a blown fuse. If so, then the heater itself may be defective. Use an amp meter to test proper current flow. Most zirconia O2 sensors will draw between 1 to 2 amps. Air fuel ratio sensors will draw about 6 amps. If you are missing the power feed, remember, all you are doing is tracing the missing 12 volts and not the ECM side. If your system is power controlled, then with key on, engine, off, look for a steady ground. Most of the times, this ground will be a hot wired 1 to chassis ground. If missing, then a wire is broken. On either ground or power controlled systems, to test, do as follows. Start the engine. Most OVD2 systems will not turn the heater on with the engine off to prolong sensor life. Then, probe for either power or ground, depending on your system. The controlled side may turn on and off. This is also a fast way to know which system you have without even looking at wiring diagram. Beware. Also on most systems, the O2 heater circuit will be disabled if a heater code is present. So you may have to erase the OVD2 code to proceed with the diagnostics.